we have to put in a false bottom on here. Yeah. X marks the spot. The guys have arrived and they've brought healthy snacks. And here's the, the new little Remy. It's so Aww, beautiful. Look at him. Oh look, it's raining again. Right, we've created the bottom. Nick's putting the weights in. Welcome to a new vlog. We are just in the camper van. Um, yeah. Just need you to wait. We um, are going to be making, there's our air fryer. A dirty air fryer that's not been cleaned up. This stool in the camper van doesn't have a bottom, so it's hard to move around because obviously we store the air fryer in there. So we're going to make a bottom. Yeah. So we have to go to the garage, which Nick said we won't be going back to, but I, I said we probably would be. We just have to go to the garage, get a bit of wood. We have to put in a fault. Ooh, that didn't sound good. We have to put in a false bottom on here. Yeah. Now the problem we've got, I've just realised, is this wood is flush. Which means I'm going to have to get the multi-tool and take a, a slinger yeah. out. Yeah. Um, what we also need to do as well is, if that fit, in fact we'll just take that with us and get the right size wood. But what we have to do is we have to put some um, support noggins on here. So when the um, bottom is on and it's screwed in the four corners, which it will be, and then the pads are on it, we need something in these four locations to support the weight, otherwise it's going to it's going to yeah, bow down. Yeah. But what I don't want to do is to have to drill through the outside and then fill it and paint the whole thing again because that's just going to mm. that's just going to be a nightmare. So if I can get some noggins and put them on the inside, and perhaps put on some little L brackets. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to anyway, make a, put the a L bottom. brackets on them. We're going to do that today. We're going to go and get them. And gonna... um, you saw in the last vlog, there's our new plant that is hanging there, and. Um, our new thermometer, which we're going to find a place for at some point today as well. Right, can you get that in the car, please? Yep. Right. I'm well and well and truly in the process of getting this sword. So I've put some more, some structural plinths on here, and then cut the noggins off the ends there to to make sure that this new piece that I've just cut fits inside and this will be the bottom so then I'll flip it upside down put the pads on there and then that's one job done and then on to the next one there we go bottom on right let's flip it over and there we go so we can now put things inside and then drag it across the floor inside the van once I've put the felt pads back on Right, next job is to get this lettering on. So the eyes where the dint was, I've put that one on and I've spaced these out pretty much equally and I've used a bit of masking tape. So it lines up to that point on the light and then on the other side here, I've done it in the same place. So from the same distance back, I've now got to spell the word crafter and make sure it's all lined up perfect. So I'm gonna do that now. Are they, are, are, do these come pre-glued then? They're pre-stickered. Pre-stickered, yeah. So I've put the other one on the other side. That one's done. Just got to make sure I spell it right. So we did one. We did get one that said camper, um, but then we figured it tells everybody that it's a camper van if we were like stealth parking or anything like that. So we decided to order the rafter crafter stickers. So there we go. You've just got to get it. It's like a bloody sign writer. You've got to get it absolutely spot on. It's cold out here now. All right. There we go, just like new. And now I just need to peel this off without ripping the um, wrap off. Because this bloody tape from being cured is like... Ooh. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Perfect. Right, next job, Nick is going to put the thermometer up. And we've just been Eventually. debating for 10 minutes where it's going to go. So I think there... Yeah, and then it's, put it to the right. Around there. Put it to the right. No, that's just out of the way. At least it lines up with the buttons there. Yeah. So there, yeah? Up a tiny little bit. There. To, to the right. Is it lined up centre to the bottom? No, to the right. No. To the right. Is she to the left? You put it down now. It's not straight, but that's where yeah, it'll that, be. That's, it's just on a swing. Well, move it. Uh, yeah, about there. There. Right, now then, how the hell do we coordinate centre point for that? Well, you moved it now. I know, but I need to get the centre point, so it's about... I do like that plant there now. I like that plant. X marks the spot. This is not lined up, it's going to really bug me. Mm. Oh, 
freak's sakes. Well, you've been telling me left, it should, right, left, right. It should right. be to the left a little bit more. Well, I why think. didn't you say? Well, when I drew the line. I did. Well, it now has to go up that way now. <laughs> Do you agree? Yeah, it's drilled up the wrong line as well. Oh, well, there you go then. Your fault. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's cockeyed, but it, yeah, that, that, is, that. that is right. Yeah? Yeah. Right, let me just tighten that. The guys have arrived and they've brought healthy snacks. We said to them, we said to them, don't bring loads and loads of chocolate like you did last weekend because we, we, we're we on a diet. We're all on so a diet. they've brought healthy snacks apparently. <laughs> so it's like an episode of Little Britain. 82 <laughs> calories a pack here, 92 there, 85 there. Uh, okay, strawberries. Yeah. 94 there. They didn't bring those brown bananas by the way. No, those they're brown bananas that they're I was. Eaten. So, and, and we've got apple crumble and custard and a load more stuff in there and pitta. And we'll enjoy eating every mouthful. <laughs> we will, yeah. And they brought some presents. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and an Insta 360. Yeah, unfortunately you don't get to keep them. not really mind, they're just to play with. Yeah, so we are considering <laughs> upgrading our uh, vlogging camera again. Well, not upgrading, but we'll see. It's the 60, 60 frames a second, so the hyper real is the hyper real um, I have a play with them. output. Oh, yeah. them, by the way. Oh no, like, hold that. So when we came back from the van, we bought these things because we knew at some, we've watched loads, loads of other people's vlogs and we've seen the um, camper bike get stuck in mud and that'll be us. So I got these, which are tracks for if to we get, get out stuck of mud. in the mud somewhere, which mud I'm sure will happen. Mud or snow, and you basically they just fold up in little canvas bags like this. Yeah. Mm. So uh, hopefully that'll save us. Uh, so now we are heading around to the Disney Wives because today they've got a new puppy called Remy. We called in and see, saw him earlier today, me and Nick, because we were passing um, as we went out. So we thought, oh, we'll just go and call. We sneaked in before you guys. So we could so get- So met his uncles. Yeah, we could oh. get cuddles. Um, so we're all going around there now, getting a takeaway and um, having more snuggles with Remy and Pluto. Who is very, very jealous. Yeah, so I've got to give Pluto lots of cuddles too. Hi Pluto! Pluto's here, and here's the, the new little Remy. He's so beautiful! Look at him. He's got little puppy breath! We've not forgotten about you! Either. Oh, he's getting onto his pillow. Oh, he's cushioning. Oh, he's going to sleep. He, wants to, he just wants to get where, where something's warm and snuggly, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Eh? Aww. Welcome to the next day. Um, so we had an Indian meal last night. I forgot to vlog it actually because we were busy chatting and um, fussing little Remy, weren't we? And um, he's so cute, isn't he? Hmm? Remy. Oh yeah, we're not getting a dog though. No. Um, it would be good to have a van dog though, don't you think? Huh? Van dog. In a quarter no. of a mile. As so a we're uh, heading our, uh, to on Scarborough and we're going to meet the Disney wives there. Uh, so it's kind of murky at the moment and it's been raining but it's starting uh, to rain now apparently scarborough is going to be um the best option for us today with no well, rain you know it's going to slash it down it always does so uh, and tonight we're going out for a meal um it's just reminding me because we're just passing where we're going manicar hotel is this the meal i'm not supposed to know about yes it was a surprise for nick's birthday which was a couple of weeks ago and emma's birthday which is any any time now i think um not sure she knows about it yet so we are going to be the only one that done. um i'll show you where we're going We've been to Manicot before, but they also have an Italian called Azzurri. Azzurro, Azzurro, by the looks yeah. of it. We've never been there before, but we have going there tonight for a meal. We can see the sea and a um, ice cream van. I think I fancy an ice cream, actually. That looks an old ice cream van. Look at all the camper vans. One, two, three, four. Well, apparently on Scarborough North Beach, there's camper vans can stay for free. Up Overnight. Until, I think the end of March, and then there were a couple of weeks back, there were hundreds and hundreds on there before the season started. Three more there. Met the Disney wives, and uh, randomly, um, a soccer is there, and um, Chewbacca from uh, Star Wars, very random. Right, we're heading into Scarborough Public Market for uh, hopefully a coffee or something and a snack. And we're gonna see what um, what food Tracy dribbles down her t-shirt today. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were. 
She just said she's never seen this before. Well, I, I, I live close here and I've never I like, seen We usually like this oh place, don't we? They've got oh, um, pies, and pies and stuff. Right, Should we have a little mooch um, first? A nice yeah. counter down here. This is very naughty. Ooh. What are you having? <laughs> Half of that, of a little slice. I think that there is a massive port scratching. Tracy, look at them. I know. Massive port scratchings. No, thank you. I know. Look at that would be amazing. I wonder what that's called. Big port scratching. Speaking <laughs> of port scratching, we're getting a bag. We're getting a bag because we all like Ray Grays. I love places like this where it's just like all the fresh food fresh and. Food, I like Barnsley Market. Yeah, I like Barnsley Market, but it's Scarborough Market instead. And um, we've been healthy and having this. Um... There's an half off cutting it in another slice. If you cut it with the top on it, it just yeah. switches out. Cut so it the, top the other off. way as well. So it's in quarters. Eh? Yeah, like so it's in no quarters. Way. So Tracy got one. <laughs> It's belly pork, apparently. It just looks like a massive pork scratching. Mm. Does it taste like, like a, a pork giant scratching? Size pork scratching? Yeah, but not as salty. Mm. It just tastes like, um, like really like well done meat. Mm. Now we've got the uh, the, the yeah. dessert for us. The pork scratching. I do love good pork scratching. It's Tracy's favourite food. <laughs> pork scratching. <laughs> You like pot scratching. The one that yeah. we had the other day in Durham, apparently from Black Country. Yeah. Right there. Which took, it took half an hour for me to eat one of them. Mm. Oh my god. Really? That smells like dog food. Smell that. Mm. Oh, you think that's nice? <laughs> Let me that smell. Smells like a pet shop. No, I don't mind that. Mm. Mm. No, they're alright. Oh, the pot. No. Mmm. Oh, yeah, they're good ones. Have a look. Really good on keto diet, then. Yeah, they are very good on keto diet, unfortunately. That vanilla slice we just had isn't. Jesus Christ! That's half of all, that's half of all McDonald's entire chicken run. <laughs> how many eggs is there going to be there? Got I don't know, but the free more, range. Look how yellow they are. That toast is looks like oh, it's tiger bread as well. Oh yeah. my god! It smells amazing. We've already picked out the one way. We should have got that instead of a sausage sandwich. What are we have for breakfast? A vanilla slice and a packet of pork scratchings. Classy. We're on diet. Look at the size of these now. Such bacon butter. You know what? That's the biggest bacon that. butty I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, thank God in the nicest way. Tiger bread, <laughs> huge <laughs> slab of bread. Look at it from the top. Yeah. Tiger yeah. bread is my weakness. I love these kind of places. Yeah. Right, we're now under the um, market into the vaults, which is this like underground section of like little tunnels. You may have seen it on our vlog before. And uh, lots of different stalls and book stalls, record stalls, all sorts of uh, different little things. SpongeBob SquarePants. Reminds me of Dark Arches in Leeds. Yeah, but it's not dark here though, is it? No. Do you know well, what I mean? Dark Arches weren't dark either. No, but it is more dark. This is, uh, I like it. I can smell paint. Like yeah, it looks like they've painted and brightened it all up. Oh, it says wet paint there. Yeah. Emma's found some Minnie Mouse um, welly boots. One size too big. Uh, Extra thick socks and might be alright. Just, just put a bundle of socks in end for your feet come to there, it'll be fine. I like. Right, we're heading down into uh, Scarborough oh, to try and burn off those um, oh. pork scratchings. Well, well let's, we'll keep let's going. Go on this slope down. Now, pork scratchings, a vanilla slice, and a sausage sandwich. I'm oh, sure we'll, we'll go about the sausage sandwich. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll uh, burn it off. It'll be salad tonight at that uh, restaurant, I think. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. These three are enjoying playing with a bit of poo. Tracy's just almost busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, freaking it's hell, to be poo. I don't think he's supposed to do that. It feels really nasty. <laughs> is, it, is it lumpy? Yeah. Well, you've got lumpy shit. Oh, mine's not like that. Do <laughs> mine. These milkshakes look good. If I were going to have one, I'd either have Oreo or Ferrero Rocher. Meet Ooh. Mr. I'm not eating anything else until we go to the. Um, Restaurant peer pressure is having a uh, left out a cherry ice cream, delicious and all. And, um, I'll have a little bit. Missing out on one oh of my goodness, that looks better. Oh my god, what is it? It's a uh, bueno Sunday. Wow, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, he's, uh, he's not eating. Just he's not eating until I'm, not eating uh, I'm not eating another thing until six o'clock tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What the frig are we doing? Have we had enough of the beach? Yes, we have. Do you want to go out on that, that speedboat? No, I don't. Should we ask Tracy if she wants to walk up to the castle? Yeah, the castle up there, Tracy. You can see Emily Bronte. Is it Emily Bronte's grave? Mm, one of the Bronte, one of the Bronte sisters, sisters, yeah, grave is right up there. Well, 
the graveyard is just near the church there. And you can actually see the... Um, two churches. Is that a church and what's that one? I think that's, I don't know what that is. Somewhere up there. A house. Right but at the top, it's up at the top of a big hill. Forget the Bronte's uh, grave, these Disney wives want to go to Matalan. Come on then. So that is called, I think it's that one, the Grand Hotel in Scarborough. It's supposed to be like one of the worst hotels in the country. It's owned by Britannia uh, chain. I think it's that one. Anyway, if you go, if you look on YouTube, there's many YouTubers that have done a, a video there. Uh, maybe you should do one, Vicky. Have a night in the uh, Grand Hotel. Don't quote me on that. Only if you stay with me. Yeah, well, we could do a, a collab. I'm not even sure it's called the Grand Hotel. No, I'm sure it is. It's is that it? one. Yeah, I'm sure it is. And there's many YouTube videos just showing how uh, how skanky it is. Let us know if you stayed there. Yeah, and let us know if it's wrong or if it's right. Come on, Nick, win me some. Uh, win me something. Win me something. I love that little uh, teddy bear thing. Oh, it moved a bit forward. Oh no, there's too many. <laughs> right, we're going to go on the Victorian tramway up to town. Um, let's see how much it is. Um, two, one pound forty to uh, go one way. Yeah. Feels like we're in San Francisco or something. I'm not Scarborough. Yeah, it's a bit chilly, isn't it? Yeah. So you pay at the top when you get off. It's definitely gone up in price. Yeah. One pound for me. You said it was 20p? Yeah, I know. 20 pence, is it? I don't know, look at the price. Last time I came on here, it was about 40 pence. There's the uh, tram, it comes up to the top right at the side of the Grand Hotel. When I always do the Grand Hotel, I always think about the witches. Is that yeah. called the Grand Hotel? No, that's Headland. No, it's isn't the Grand it? Witch. The Grand High Witch. The Grand, yeah. Oh, yeah. It just reminds me of that. Yeah, that reminds me of that. Right, we're back. We've been back a couple of hours just chilling. We're now heading back out to the Italian restaurant um, for a meal. Uh, now it's for uh, Nick's birthday for a couple, a couple of weeks ago and Emma's birthday. I'm on the vlog. So we've all just had a cup of tea. We've watched uh, Merlin, an old Channel 4 documentary, not documentary, uh, like drama TV series, two part of Merlin with Sam Neill, Helen Bonnebon and Cartner, and a few other people. It's really good if you've never seen it. Um, so just waiting for these guys to come out and then uh, we'll take you guys along with us to the Italian. Right, this is where we're uh, going, Manacourt Hotel. We're located at Stall Nicky's Turnips. We're just talking about Animal Crossing and turnip stealing. <laughs> In lockdown. Turnip gate, it, were like, it, almost, it would almost turn into like a big fallout, that, because of <laughs> Nick, Nicky's turnips. Well, it was lockdown, we didn't have all to do apart from Animal Crossing. We had, anim we had Amazon Prime, but we had Animal Crossing. Very nice. Nick's food has arrived and Trace has gone for the same. They've got lasagna. We're just analysing and dissecting it. It looks good. Good consistency. The pasta is very cooked. It cooks nicely. It's quite deep. The tomato sauce is very tomato-y. Do a tomato taste, taste test. Garlic bread needs to be crispier though. Does it? We've yeah, renamed like, it. Oh yeah, it's soggy. It's soggy in it. We've not renamed it. We're renaming it. I'm so eager. Oh wow. Thank you. Tuna steak. Wow. Maybe. Oh, that looks good. Is it good? Mm. Best lasagna ever. We've renamed Nick. Anton Ego. Anton Ego. He's a food critic in Ratatouille. Food critic. Oh, I know what you mean. Ratatouille. It looks a bit like him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he critiques everything. Oh, what's mint sauce? Mint sauce? Yeah, look at that. That looks well nice. Right, we finished his meal. We're just walking back to the car. I've had two Guinnesses, so I'm not driving. Uh, it's the first time I've had an alcoholic drink in quite a while, actually. A while, a long while. Um, I've had proper Guinness tonight. Very nice. Uh, we're just walking back. I just want to show you these little pods. It's like a little village of um, lodges, it's like, like mini like, lodges. Reminds me of Animal Crossing. No, it doesn't, it does. bloody Animal Crossing. Um, yeah, so that was a really nice meal, actually. The lasagna was the second best lasagna I've ever had. The first one we had in Italy years ago. Um, we're just going back to the car. These guys are going back to um, Remy. They're going to give them a little cuddle from us, from us tonight. Um, we haven't seen them since seen him since yesterday apart no. from the camera today we're gonna head back to the lodge where Tracy brought um, apple crumble and custard and if we don't eat it today it's gonna go off so we're gonna have to force ourselves oh dear welcome to the next day 
uh, a nice sunny day. What's the temperature? 14 degrees. I hope it stays like this for a long time now. Um, Tracy and Neil and Faith are in the car behind us. We are just heading to the Disney Wives house again just for a little chat, a cup of tea or something and a little fuss with uh, little Remy the puppy again before the guys head back home. Um, might go out for a bit of Sunday lunch as well. And then, well, not Sunday um, lunch, but lunch on Sunday. Yeah, not like a, a real sandwich, sandwich. Like that. Yeah, just a little, a little something or other. And if we have time today, uh, we've got a few things to pick up for the van. Well, we're doing, well, we're that, definitely we're doing that straight after here, so. And then um, we're gonna try and fit the fly screen, which we'll definitely need when we're going around Europe and things, and sometimes in the UK as well, because we've already seen we're getting little flies in and little stuff, bugs. because it's, the weather's getting a little bit better, thankfully. Um, so we've got the fly screen, we just need to work out a way to uh, get it fitted to the side door. What about the back door? We don't 100% need a fly screen on the back window anyway. No, um, so we're going to try and get that side one on, and then if that doesn't, if well, that... it's not it's not made for that. We have to cut and adapt it to the door mm -hmm. size. Then we can either do it one of two ways. We can either hold it up to the door and put the magnets in the top runner, and then magnetize it all the way along, or we can get a piece of paper, shut the door, stick the piece of paper to the inside door of the van and create an exact shape of the van and then add an inch and a half for the thickness of the rubbers around the perimeter of it all. Bring it inside, put it on the fly screen on the floor, cut around it, and then put um, like some PVC edging on from the universal one which we've got. Get your mum to stitch it, or for now we just staple it. Put the magnets in, and that should then be a custom made one with a, a door splitter in the center. But my only concern is the magnets that I've got, they're really, really powerful when you're locking the two magnets together. But when you put it on the frame of the metal through the rubber seal, it's not super heavy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So that's what we've got to have a look at. If we get a chance today, and uh, also we've got to sort out the cupboards, um, just you know, get them in order. where things are going, getting things in order and stuff for the next time. And we've got booked in for the grill to be sorted, but we couldn't get booked in unfortunately until the 2nd of May and it's around here which means we'll have to, we, we can get off um, visiting some places but then have to come back again for the 1st of May or 2nd of May. Um, so we're in two minds what to do but we need to get it fixed under warranty um, which runs out in a few months because we've had the, the oven amazingly almost a year. August. Yeah, so it's just disruption is getting off and not having to come back. But we've got to get it sorted because we don't want, you know, the, the we don't want a faulty appliance. The grill doesn't work properly if you've not seen that vlog. Um, you've got to keep your, your finger down. It's a thermocoupler that just yeah. needs changing. That's it's, all. Apparently, fingers crossed, it's a 10 minute job, but we just can't get booked in anywhere until the 2nd of May. We're going to make some more phone calls tomorrow to see if we can get in anywhere else. Um, but if not, then we've got to go and then come back so we can't go too far, which is just a bit of a pain. Here he is, here he is. I'm just stealing a cuddle before the um Remy. The fuse Remy. Remy. <laughs> Clipper. Right, we said goodbye to Remy for a while and uh, Pluto, so we're just heading into town. We're gonna have a, a bite to eat. We're gonna go to the lodge, not our lodge, the other lodge. Uh, we're gonna get Piri Piri wrap and then we're gonna say bye. Hook of the lodge. Yeah. I'm gonna say goodbye to um, Tracy, Neil and Faith. They're going home today, all the way back down to south. And um, we're gonna say goodbye to the wives and then we're gonna go back to the lodge and try and build a fly screen. Right, I was really looking forward to having the Piri Piri wrap and they've completely changed the menu. And it's now Bridlington's version of Nando's. Yeah, it's yeah. literally the entire Nando's menu in Bridlington in the lodge. Is it, do they have lemon and herb? They have lemon and herb, they have mild, they have hot, they have um, mash, they have all the stuff that you get Harry in Nando's. Rice, Harry you chicken. go and pick your own sauces like you do at Nando's, yeah. you get your own cutlery. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. The, meal, the meal deals are the same where you get like chicken pita and a side or three sides for an extra. So, so we don't have to go to the home now. It might not. Nando's. Well, yeah, that's true. That's not what I cried. Bloody hell, right. it's it's got a whole chicken in there. Well, it's not huge. It's massive, it weighs a ton. You want for medium and it's very hot. That is, that is not medium, that is extra hot. But we've got some uh, garlic and herb sauce as well, we'll use that. We're just gonna share this. Nice. Let's get this cooking out. Right, we said goodbye to everybody. We have some chores to do in Bridlington, which we've done. We're now on our way to the Amazon locker, where we are picking up some new bedding 
for the van because we'd only got one set of bedding before we um, before we bought the van. We just bought something off Amazon, so we need another set so we can do the rotation of the uh, the washing. So we've got another one coming. It's going to be a green striped one. Well, kind of green striped um, sage, I think. It is. Yeah, sage. So it matches the elements of the colours in the curtains and it's also kind of like a natural colour that will match the blinds and the whites and things like that so hopefully it's not going to be too much in your face it's reversible so we can change the pattern and it'll go nice with the colours in that throw that we got as well we've also got some um, water purification tablets so when we put them into the tank we can drink the water we've got some bumper clips um, because when I did the van some of the old ones had broken off so I've got some new bumper clips coming and what else have we got? I can't remember, we've ordered something else, I can't remember what it is, but anyway, we're off to pick them up and then we're off back to the lodge and we're going to try, as long as it's not too windy, which it is, create a silhouette for the fly screen and then see whether we can put it up, which I'm not looking forward to at all. Are you? Well, no. no. Hopefully it's one of those jobs that sounds hard, but... It's, I think it's, it's going to be hard, it's going to be like curtain gate, I think, because we have to cut the um, mesh and then get some PVC plastic edging and then put that on and staple it in place until we can get his mum to sew it. But while we do that, we also have to put magnets into the seam so it can clamp onto the edges. And if that doesn't hold it and I have a feeling that the magnets are not going to be strong enough, um, well, it's back to the drawing board and now we're going to do it, really. We definitely need one. We definitely need one. Right, we're back at the lodge. We've picked everything up from the uh, Amazon locker. I'll just show you what we've got. So we've got these um, water purification tablets. Um, our new bedding arrived. So it's this kind of white, mainly, with a green stripe on that side, and then it's reversible and it's like a fine stripe. And then these massive pillowcases, I didn't realise, were like the size of, well, single bed duvets, basically. They're stitched there, so they have these flappy bits, which I do not like, and it didn't make that clear on the picture. We've also got the fly screen out, because we're about to go in the van and get it all spread out on the floor, create a silhouette on how we're going to do it, put it on top, and then cut it out, and then take it back in. So this is like one of those moments where you get one chance. You cut it, and you screw it up, and that's it. It's done. So I got to get this from America. It was 31 quid. I had it shipped from Amazon.com. Uh, it arrived pretty quickly and it's been sat on the floor for about a month. So fingers crossed it's wide enough. So we're going to go out there now and just kind of hold it up and see what it looks like. Right, so the fly screen came with this Velcro. Which actually... We weren't going to use, were we? But we think it's far too heavy for the uh, magnet. And it sticks to the rubber, which yeah. is what I was, like, sceptical about. But yeah. So the Velcro's working, so this would make it a lot easier. So we're just going to stick it on all and it's really tacky as well. So all we need to do then is just trim the um, trim the fly screen. Get all this on the um, rubbers first. Bloody hell, it's really tacky. Might have to put some relief cuts in it actually to make it yeah. bend around the corner. You know what I mean? So fingers crossed, this should make it fit a lot easier job. Well, you won't even see because it's black on the black rubbers. Need another relief cut there. So, like that, and then once we get onto a straight bit, like that, you know what I mean? Yep. It's working. And then all we'd have to do then is move this strip here and stitch it onto this cut here so it joins in. That's where your mum comes in. And that's pretty much hidden there isn't it mm -hmm. right so let's get the velcro on the entire door frame and then take it from there right so nick's putting masking tape all the way around so where that we edge, can where uh, the new edge needs where to the go. new edge needs to be that'll be um what do we call it with the no, it'll be stitched this will be just stitched as a new edge. So using masking tape to right. create the uh, outline of it. So what I need to do now... Now we're going to Velcro this side. Yeah, Velcro this edge without it impeding the door's function. This is a sodden nightmare, nothing ever simple. We've had to use paint to mark where the edge of the rubber is because tape won't stick, um, a marker pen won't mark, 
electrical tank won't stick so we've had to basically use emulsion paint which has marked the edge of the thing once we've got it once that's dried and we've got it all off what we'll do is we'll put a velcro um edge on there up to that all the way and then cut the excess off and then the same up here just have to put like a light marker but we can't do anything at the minute until all that's dried so i'm gonna lock up the van and go inside while that's drying we're having some um dinner so we've got hummuses, um, which Tracy and Neil brought, but we never got around to eating. Um, garlic stuffed halkadiki olives, grapes, a bit of cheese. And some warm pita, which I'm just yes. cooking in the um, air fryer. Air fryer. Lovely little Not charcuterie, charcuterie board. board. Well, you've been nibbling at it, haven't you? Mm. Right, here we go, nice little charcuterie board. We're going to watch something on TV and um, enjoy this. We're going to watch a lot of shite on TV. We're watching Merlin the sequel to the 1998 TV movie, which was actually brilliant. This is absolutely garbage and we're only- We're gonna watch nine minutes, might get better. Right, there's nothing more I can do tonight because I need, um, and I don't know how or where it's gone, but I need some Velcro, some uh, loop Velcro in black to put along this edge and follow the contour of this um, white line. And then a weighted bottom with some Velcro across there. Doesn't have to be Velcro there. And then also the universal one that we've got, um, I'm gonna cut some of the nylon off and create like a pocket to fold over so it's got like um, a top side here. And then I um, need it stitching. So I've put the corner on up here with leftovers and it's held on with staples at the minute, but it just needs the staples peeling off and a stitch putting through and that will hold that. And then all that edge needs to be done and the bottom. And then it's done and it should fit. And the Velcro is actually stuck to the rubbers and it's a full size one. So it's not blocking out any of the light or anything like that. And uh, that's one less thing we need to do for Europe. Right, Lee's now set up at his desk. <laughs> Finally, it's only took seven years. Seven years, why haven't we done this before? I need a little lamp there, it's a bit dark in this car. Enjoy. Welcome to the next day. We are on our way in the van, not to camp out unfortunately anywhere. We're just heading back to the place where we got the wrap done. Because a couple of little bits just need looking at. He said um, it might be a problem in just one little area and it has become just a slight problem. So he's going to use an extra something ceiling or other sealant to stick it down. And he just needs to look at the locks, which he didn't think they've put up back on right. Um, so we're heading down there. He said it should take an hour and a half. Um, so we've got to find something to do for an hour and a half. Hopefully there's like a coffee shop around, but it is like an industrial estate. Doubt it, but much. we'll see when we get there. Um, Nick went up to, um, down and got a few things yes, uh, this morning whilst I was editing for the fly screen so that when we get back, we can continue with that and hopefully get that sorted. I need our friend to put some stitches yeah, in Yeah, we were going to nip home and maybe get my mum to stitch it, but um, there's a long way to go and my mum's full of coal at the minute, um, which I don't want to catch and um, we've got a, a, a local friend who's also got a sewing machine so she might be able to do it for us. Uh, so hopefully that will be getting sorted later today and then that's all done. I've just booked into Halfords to get a aircon, um, what was it called? An air gas. No, it was called an aircon diagnostic, that was it. Because the mechanic told us he thinks we've got a leak on our aircon. Uh, so I've booked it for an aircon diagno diagnostic, thirty four ninety nine at Halford. So the check with nitrogen for any leaks. You remember last year we had it regassed and now it don't work again. So yeah, so it's that definitely were, leaking. Somewhere. Yeah, so that would be a part waste of money, but at least it's something else we've found out. So they use nitrogen to find any leaks, and then they tell you what you know if they found any, and then you get the option to regas it, which obviously I think we do need. Well, repair first. Yeah, repair first, and then regassing. So we'll see how that goes. So we've got that booked in tomorrow. Um, and then all being well, we can go off again. Yeah, but we have to be back because I have tried and tried and tried for the grill. For the grill, and every single service centre either doesn't answer the phone, and some and one cheeky swine this morning said they want eighty-five pound just to, look to, to diagnose the fault that they're going to fix under warranty, and it won't be included in the warranty. Yeah, so I said, well, so it's so it's basically not a warranty repair then. So so far, we're not really impressed with Thetford warranty, but we'll see. At least we've got it booked in somewhere. Uh, but it just means, as I said earlier in this vlog, we have to be back by We have to be back, so we've just got to stay not too local, but we, we can go away and then we've got to be back by um, uh, we've beginning of Cornwall. We've got May. two weeks. Oh no, but I don't want to be, I don't want to go somewhere that far and then have to come back. But right. we'll see, we'll see. 
We dropped the van off with the garage and then headed round to a local cafe to have a toaster current tea cake and some crumpets. While we had an hour and a half to spare, we then headed down to B&M for a little mooch around. So we thought we'd just go and have a look at bedding, even though we got some from Amazon yesterday. Just while we've got some time to spare. We're going to need some on rotation. Yeah. Quite like that. I like that colour actually. I actually really like that. Yeah, but I want stuff that's going to match the van colours. Well, I think that would want it. That would go with the woods colours and stuff. Kind of, yeah. I quite like this frilly stuff. Yeah, well you can figure off. Oh, like the waffle effect. Oh, I quite like that. Waffle, get yourself to... I like that. No. Like the fern leaves. Well, maybe. Yeah, I really like that. Not so keen on the colour, but... And it's like nice and neutral, I quite like that. Not about size. Don't have size, friggin' hell. I'm getting some new uh, snuggle slippers. I love these, just for Round Lodge. And I need a pair for the um, van as well. Just coming to a pub and just having a uh, lime and soda while we wait for the uh, wrap to be finished. Ten minutes, we can go back. Should we walk back? Yeah. Oh look, it's raining again. Mm. What a surprise. Right, the wrap um, problems are all sorted. Oh, the locks. And the locks are all done, so it's back to the lodge. Just pick up this a little bit of the side bumper that has a replacement that has been delivered and hopefully sort the rest of this fly screen out. Half a mile down road and the blue sky is appearing and the sun's out. And the road's dry. I'm just about an hour and a half away at my mum. She said this morning they've had sleet, snow, wind, rain and sun. Global warming. The bumper part has arrived. Allegedly. I'm presuming that's what this is. I can't get it out. I can't get it out. Can you pull that? I'm going to get my hands in somehow. Hang on a minute. The box should come out. No, it's not. No. Right, let me just cut open the box. We'll have to go in. I was just going to say, yeah. Just open the box at the top. Fingers crossed, it's the right part. Yep, spot on. Now then. Yeah. It's absolutely gale force wind. wind. Wild. We need to fit this. Well, why don't we do some inside stuff first, see if it calms down a little. Well, like the fly screen? Well, well, fly screen and sorting all the cupboards out in the van. Right, come on. Then. Got the new bedding on. Nick's just making the bed. Um, quite like it, actually. And will anyway, anyway, will it go. go well with this? Eh? Yeah. Yep. Right, hold on. I need so to we've just got to change your bedding now for when we're uh, out and about. And it'll also go with our uh, home is where we park it cushion. There we go, all done. This is a bit ratty. Yeah. There's too many freaking tassels. No, I like it. Maybe right. we took this bit under like that. Another job done. Right, we're just um, organising uh, the best we can. Uh, all the cupboards and things. We've got a food cupboard now with multiple layers. Um, a cutlery and thing, not cutlery, sorry, um, you know, crockery. crockery and stuff has been moved to that one. And then everything else is junk. Yeah, we're just, uh, well, not junk, but bits and bats. Bits and bats. So we've got this drawer half empty. That's we've got this one stuff. completely empty. Yeah, we need to look at this one now. And then we've got that top cupboard empty. So yeah. we've got bags of storage, but loads of stuff to put in. Yeah, we just need to keep organising. Organize. Right, so the next job we've got to do is to change that bumper. The wind is wild, so we're going to give it half an hour. So whilst we're waiting for the weather to calm down, I'm going to show you guys these. It absolutely pains me that we can't use these, and I will explain to you why um, and what we're going to do with them in the future. So a couple of months back, a company, con company called Lightime, uh, they contacted us and asked us, this is after we bought the electrics for the van, um, which was quite poor timing actually otherwise we'd have looked at it a little bit sooner but these guys contacted us and asked us if we want to try some more life pi poe batteries which are lithium batteries with extra safety protection in them so they're a lot safer than normal lithium batteries they don't have any kind of flammable components in them and things like that we were going to install them in the van i realized that the problem is our inverter needs 300 um, amps of draw from the batteries these two combined only give out 200 so we would have to get a third battery which would then double our electrical capacity in the van 
but it will also add another 22 kilos of weight, which we can't do. And we've just paid literally £3,000 for the batteries in the van. And these things are about half, half that price. I just wish we'd have seen and seen them before we'd have sort of gone in there and had the electrics in the van spec'd up. But there is an option for us to add a third battery later down the line, which will give us, because uh, right now we've got 300 amp hours of battery power in the van. If we put these in, it will give us 600 today, uh, sorry, 400 today, so 25% increase. If we added another battery like this and connected them in series, it would give the inverter what it needs and it would give us double the power capacity. So if ever we take the oven out and switch from gas to electric, that's the kind of specs you need to be looking at around 600 amp hour. So I'm going to open them and show you what they look like. So these weigh about 20 odd kilos each. Um, so you get this nice information pack with it that tells you about these batteries. We've got this one here, which is the 12 volt, 200 amp hour. If you get the, and it puts out 100 amp, like I said, the inverter needs 300, uh, and it, uh, they're the, the, the safer version. Tesla and other companies that provide cars are starting to put these in because they're like they're not as prone to fires and explosion and things like that. So you can get the pro version of this exact battery, which does put out 200 amp power. And if these two were pros, we'd be able to use them and take the ones that we've got in the van and sell them and basically put these in and give us 25% more capacity and um, give us what we need. But unfortunately it's not, but we've got the option, like I said, of adding another battery later down the line. So you get all the information packs, the manual on how it works. They've got BMS in there, so it basically monitors and it has circuit protection and things like that. Um, it says in the instructions when you when you start using these, you're supposed to fully charge them first rather than putting in potentially one full battery and one flat battery because the van just sees, the, the shunt in the van just sees total amount of power and voltage and says, oh, they've reached capacity, when one could have reached capacity and one not. So you're supposed to charge batteries fully when you put them in a van beforehand. So big massive information pack. So everybody wants to look at the, the, the product. So I'm gonna get it out. So, now these things, like I said, they weigh a ton, but all batteries do that you put in vans. And actually it's not as heavy as I thought. So if we had three of them, it would give us what we need. And they come with these nice carry handles on the mm, side. Yeah, that's good. Well, like that. Oh yeah. And then you get these little M8, I think the M8 bolts that come in the pack. Take the caps off. Oops, take the caps off. Screw them in and put your um, your nut, your sort of cables in. And if you're connecting them in series, you just stack them side by side. And then you can use these to fasten them down and bolt them to the floor. These look um, really good quality. It's just a shame we can't use them. No. It pains me, it does. Is it worth putting another 22 kilos in for double the battery mm. capacity when we've not even gone out and tried it on 300, milli uh, 300 amp hours of battery? Who knows, we'll have to find out in when we've been, when we've took the van on its UK road trip, if we find that we're running out of battery, this is our option to um, get another one of this. I think they're about 599 pound on Amazon, something like that. Whereas the ones that we've got in the van, I think they were just short of a thousand each. So you do actually get a pack inside as well, somewhere, where you get the, the bolts out of here. So let me just show you. So if you're connecting these things in series, obviously, or parallel, I'm not going to explain what that is, but in effect, you can connect positives to positives or negatives to negatives, or you can connect that to the next one to the next one and run it in a series, and it'll either give out more voltage or more ampage. So you've got these M8 bolts that go into these pots here. Screw them in. And then once you've done, put your little cap on and you're sorted. So for now, we have to put these into storage mm. until we decide whether we need the capacity. Uh, and we'll only need that when we've actually used the, the van proper tested in and around the UK and then decide whether we actually need the upgrade before we take it into Europe. Yeah. But um, these are available on Amazon and um, they look like a, a quality battery. We've not actually rigged them up or anything. We've not charged them. We've literally just took them out of the box. They put all the details in the description. Yep. Um, if anybody is interested. So if you've used these, let us know how you get on. Um, we will obviously make the decision whether we need the extra capacity when we come back from um, our UK two or three week trip before we head into Europe. 
on with the fly screen. So we are putting an edging on to this edge, which we'll need sewing. Which we took from the universal one, which we got from... Fandor. Yep. And we're just creating that. So what we're gonna put on the bottom? We're gonna do a, a weighted edge. Uh, there's some weights on there. We're gonna put them into another seam and then double fold them over. So we're gonna get this Velcro, Velcro. sewed onto this band here. Yep. So it follows it round and then that will then be exactly like the ones that was manufactured. So we've used literally almost all the staples now, but we've got an edge that holds in place. So, just need to get this one done. Right, we've created the bottom, Nick's putting the weights in. It looks gruesome with all the staples, but there will be replaced with some ditches. It's just to stop things moving at the minute and the staples can easily be removed. And then it just needs sewing. Right, so it just needs some more weights. One there. There we go, done, replaced. So you can still see where the metal was dinted where someone had um, reversed into it and pushed that backwards. So that's the new panel. Slightly different colour to the other bumpers, um, but I've polytrolled it just to kind of bring it back. But if you stand back, you can't really tell that much. And um, it, it matches the other side, so sorted. And the new back bumpers on and all the plastic plugs are on as well. Right, we're back in the lodge. I've just been in my new office for an hour doing some uh, blog posts and Patreon only blog posts. Go check that out on our Patreon, loving my desk at the moment. Um, and Nick is just doing some Vivera. We've not had any Vivera for a long time. And I think we'll watch a Star Trek. What do you think? Not Discovery, it's rubbish. Can't tell you how much I'm loving my new office area. I've been in it for the last couple of hours doing blog posts and all sorts of stuff. I've got a watch to the <laughs> <laughs> now. And I can go in every room now without you being in there. It's brilliant. We should have done it seven years ago. Right. Um, Nick has a few hellos to um, do. I've got more than a few. Go for it. Um, hi to Jamie W, to Paul the Trekker, Sarah B, Tom and Karen, Scott M, Anita, I might spell that, Anita R, uh, Natasha H and Neve G, Denise W and Kat M. So hi guys, hi guys. And welcome. Welcome. If you're not already taking advantage of your um, tier perks, then have a look on the relevant platform. Make sure you signed up to get the, the perks like Discord, um, access to early videos when they go out, podcasts. Early blog posts, which one has just gone out on. Member exclusive videos that don't go on the YouTube channel for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Check out your tiers, make sure that you're taking advantage of them. So, I am going to finish the vlog. Tomorrow we've got to take the van in to have a look at the air conditioning, see if it needs to be gassing, if it's got a leak, etc. whatever. We're taking it to Halfords. And um, then we, our friend has got the um, fly screen. She's gonna sew it for us, hopefully in the next day or two. Not tomorrow. Oh, She said she's busy tomorrow. Oh. How inconvenient. Well, she's doing it now. <laughs> she's not doing it now, you never know. Our lovely friend with a sewing machine. Well, you don't need it till we go to Europe anyway. Well, I know, but it's You're not going to get bitten in Com. <laughs> Bless you, Calm you never off. know. So we'll see you on the next vlog. So thank you for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. I might have a cup of tea now if you want to make me one. Oh, no, I'll have one. I've had a glass of wine and it's giving me a bit of acid, so I'll let you make me a cup of tea. And we'll see I you. I can now confirm that all the exteriors on the van are done. The bumpers, the damaged bumper, the back step, they're all locked in. We've got new plugs, trims, things like that. Uh, all the cosmetics are done inside and outside, and we absolutely love that bedding. Yes, we do, actually. Really pleased with that bedding. It was bedding. a good choice of mine, that, when I yeah. was browsing the other day. Yeah. So we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye for now. Bye.